Hi, this is Mel from Pink Virtual, and this is a little pencil case I created, and it's not perfect at all. <laughs> I ran into so many issues with this pencil case, but I like it anyway, and it's very, very full. So I had a few uh, pens and pencils I don't use anymore, markers and things, and I wanted to give them to my pen pal. So this no, uh, not this um, button is from my pen pal. This red fabric is a kind of some um, part of an old trousers i cannot wear anymore because it got ripped and my pen pole loves the color red then this is oops, an elastic closure and the inside um, contains two different fabrics so these are all the pens and markers i want to give to her And I show you how I created this uh, pencil case in this video. It was a bit chaotic. <laughs> it did not went or work out as I wanted it to. So maybe you can see I uh, have a bit of space left here because my inner bag is not uh, the same as my out outside bag. <laughs> here I have a bit of a ruffle. I, it was not supposed to be here. But it is like it is and I like it. And I think when she puts on not this many pencils so maybe something like this amount it is not the baddest thing so stay tuned for the creating process video <laughs> thanks bye so to create the pencil case i just used this fabric this is from a uh, trousers so this is a part of the leg and I sewed it together, uh, shut together on the um, bottom. So I put it on the left side, sewed it together, put it back to again on the um, right side. And I sewed another little bag. So this, this is the left side. These are the fabrics from the inside. I will show you in whole. Just wait a few seconds. So this is the back not the back but the back for the inside so i put this in this direction and then i will put it into the um, outside back for the pencil case put it right into the edges just using my fingers So make it stay in place very well. So it has to be the same size or a tiny little bit shorter um, and smaller than the outside bag. So something like this. I did not put it in perfectly because I just wanted to show you. So this will be our inside. So like this. But first of all, so I will put in my pens like this. And I want to create a flap overhanging here. Maybe like so. Then this button will be my closure. And then a bit of this elastic. Just a little bit. Just a little loop like this. So the next step will be sewing on with my sewing needle. Oh, I think this will be good. Uh, the next step will be sewing on my button because I want the um, knot to be on the. I, I I want it to be not visible. So my knot will be on the inside, and then I will put in this inner back. So you won't be able to see the knot for. Um, this button so this will be sewn in a little bit and then this would be the shape so my knot has to be on the bottom and I try to put it into the middle so I will sew it on and then I will be right back okay I'm back so the button is sewn on and I watched another video 
and I try to seal this bag. Let's see. Um, before, <laughs> so this should uh, was supposed to be my inner fabric, and this my out fabric, out fabric, outside fabric. But I did something wrong. Um, so I did not show the video. My light is not the best. Sorry for that. Okay, okay, we will try it uh, with like this. So in the other video, um, the person left uh, an opening on the inside fabric so I will cut open a bit of the sewing uh, thread here and then I will be right back okay done I am left with this tiny little opening over here I hope this is wide enough but we will see so now getting rid of the um, overhanging stuff so now I will put in, or I will put together the two fabrics facing um, each other with the nice side, so with the right side. I think this is too small. <laughs> I will try this out and then I will be back. So I had to leave a um, bigger opening. So I sewed it together again. I just cut a tiny piece off because the inner fabric was a bit too wide anyway. So now I will slide in the inside fabric. So I sewed the edges. I will slide this in, letting the uh, right sides face each other. So, inner fabric is in, facing the right sides to each other. Now I have to see, so here's my knot. I will use a bit of this elastic. And I want to sew my elastic in. So next step, putting in our elastic. Just have to look where I have to put it. So this is the front, this is the flap. Huh. Okay, I figured it out. <laughs> My elastic has to be on this side. So, oops. Mm, I will put it to the to the two right sides of the fabric. Oh, yet yeah, I think this is right. Putting it onto the right side. I just need a bit of it, not much. Then I will sew it shut. Yes, I think this is right. So I think this will be enough. Just using my, um, I call them paper clips, they are not paper clips, sewing clips um, to hold it in place. So, yes. And putting on some sewing clips on the rest of the fabric to hold it in place as well. So it slides out here a bit. So I have to replace it right to the bottom. Okay. I'm very excited. I hope it will turn out good. So now I will sew around uh, this, uh, this opening here and then I will be right back. So I ran out of thread 
and <coughs> sorry um this elastic did not stay in place of course you could put uh, in some holes and just tie a knot on the inside so here but um, i did this before in this fabric uh, when you put a hole into it it can rip very easy so i'm very proud that this button stays in place <laughs> but i think um this will, it will not work out with this but i have another idea so I have some of this um, wider elastic, so I will try it out with this elastic. I will try out again, I will put it into here. Just have to look which side would be the outside. Oh yes, right over right. So I will try it out with this, something like this I think, and then I will be back when I have this uh, sewn on, and when I have the uh, back not sewed shut, but sewed this part around. So it was a bit difficult and I don't know if the result will be as I like it to, as I wanted it to. So I sewed in this little um, elastic band and I got over, went over this space a few times. So now we will have the moment of truth. Fold this out, fold this over. Okay, I see. I put it on the wrong way. Okay, but anyway, I can redo this. Just wanted to see if I did it right um, in other ways. Ah, this project is more work, I thought, but it's the first time I do this. And my fabric went a bit wild here, but I don't mind. Okay, but if I would put this on the other way around, it would stick out here. And I could put it over here, so I think it's okay. Okay, I will redo this part and then I will be back. Okay, the elastic is sewn on. Now, hopefully, hopefully <laughs> it was the right way. We will see. Okay, on first side it looks good. Now I will close the opening just with a straight stitch and then I will be back for the finished product. I started to sew the opening shut and then it occurred to me <laughs> I would have to use the opening to um, put my fabric on the outside before closing the opening to turn the fabric around. So, okay, and this is way shorter the inside than the outside. I don't know why, but I measured nothing. I just sewed and eyeballed, like I do every time, <laughs> to be honest, most of the time. Okay, it's not perfect at all, but it is my very first attempt and I did it with very much love, as I do it always. So this is not right in the middle. This is something I have to look at, look at when redoing this. And it's a double-sided um, elastic and the wrong side is on the outside. So when you put your elastic over here, it would show the wrong side. But oh, this was a project. It took me a few, uh, not minutes, I think a few hours <laughs> because I don't use this often. But the result is not the baddest. So my inner fabric is only until here. Maybe next time I will measure it out a bit better. But now you can put in your uh, pants, fold this over. Attach your elastic onto your knot, something like this, and you have a tiny little wrap around, self made, handmade, imperfect pencil case. So, thanks for watching <laughs> this video. I know it was not my, and not, not to say not my best, but it was a bit, uh, a bit um, 
not planned out and it did not work out as I wanted it to but I think it was a lot of fun it was a lot of fun for me making this little pouch and maybe it was I hope I hope that it was fun for you to see me um, creating a bit of my stuff so for more crafting videos junk journal and bullet journal videos just like and subscribe to my channel thank you bye